Now, we 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Dollar. And Carson is joining us now. And Carson, we are looking forward to the cooler temperatures yes. that are coming in, but yeah. I also know we may get some rain soon. Finally. Thank goodness. About time. Now, let's be clear, it's not going to end the drought. We got a long ways to go to get rid of that drought, but we will take any rain. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. And it's on its way by the end of the week. Let's talk about today. That's what you can expect on this Wednesday. Mostly sunny skies right now. We'll call it mild this morning. Temperatures in the 50s. But here in a couple of hours, let's say by 9 o'clock, a lot of us will be near 70 degrees. The sunshine's with us all day, and yes, we are on record watch again. We tied that record yesterday here in Hudson with a high of 82. We'll get close to that record territory again today. Now, as the day goes on, and more so tonight, there's going to be more clouds filtering in. That's going to keep things very mild overnight tonight. But that's also setting the stage for a big change in that weather pattern that starts to be take over, that is, tomorrow. That's the view of the sky cams right now. Not a cloud to be found. Gorgeous morning. 54 in Hudsville, 53 in Decatur, 61 in Muscle Shoals. And good morning, Gunnersville. You're at 55 degrees. 31 triple dopplers quiet. It's the last totally dry day for quite some time. Kind of a miniature wet weather pattern is starting to kick in beginning Thursday, possibly lasting into the weekend. Walking the dog this morning, like we talked about, will quickly climb into the 70s. Here in just a few short hours, lots of sunshine to go around. As we mentioned, that record high of 83 gets close to the record that was just set a year ago when we hit 84. Not uncommon to see these warmer temperatures in November, but it is a rarity to see back to back years with those highs in the mid 80s in November. Here's future radar for the next two days. Not a whole lot to talk about other than those warm temperatures this afternoon, but overnight tonight you see those clouds start to filter in and the Thursday morning commute will be dry. It will be gloomy and it will be warmer with temperatures in the low 60s this time tomorrow. Watch what happens closer to noon. We begin to see the first of those showers in southern Tennessee around lunchtime. For Alabama, we'll start to see those showers late in the afternoon. Let's say past 4 o'clock. And that rain coverage expands through the evening and overnight hours heading into the day on Friday. Is Friday a washout? No, but keep the umbrella handy because we'll have those off and on showers all day on Friday. Over the next week, we're going to see a good dose of rain. In fact, these rainfall forecasts have gone up this morning, looking at around a half inch of rain for the Quad Cities, Moulton, Russellville and Athens. Here in Hudsville, Scottsboro, Fort Payne, Gunnersville, a quarter to half inch of rain is expected. Now this weekend, rain chances are going up too. Not a washout, especially for Veterans Day ceremonies on Saturday, but there will be some scattered showers around. Otherwise, it stays cloudy and cool, not just this weekend, but much of next week. But those temperatures will be seasonable with highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s.